Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to letter G week. This week, as we learned the letter G, we talked about a goat. G, g, goat. You make a sign language G by taking two fingers, your thumb and your first finger, and this is letter G. G says the sound g, g, goat. We helped the kids remember this by pretending that we were a gorilla. G, g, gorilla. G, g, gorilla. G, g, gorilla. We also read a really cute story from Alpha Tells called Gorilla Be Good. It's about a story. It's a story about a gorilla that comes to visit someone's house and isn't a very good guest. He um, puts gumdrops on his dad's galoshes. Galoshes is another name for rain boots. And he dressed up like a ghost and scared the goldfish. And he invited a gang of gorillas and they came and played golf at the person's house. It was a really big mess. So then he takes the gorilla back to the zoo and on his way home, guess who followed him home? Do you see that goat? And his mother says, good grief. So we read this book and talked about a lot of G words. The story that I wanted to share with you today though is called Llama Llama and the Bully Goat. Now we talked about what a bully is and about how sometimes friends aren't being nice to us and what we can do if friends are not playing nice. So I'm gonna read you this story about a bully goat. Llama Llama, Llama Llama busy day. Riding, counting, pitchers, clay. Roll a pancake, draw the sun. Almost everyone has fun. Time for circle, time for song. Time to clap and sing along. Kitty, rhino, sheep, and calf. Llama, Nelly, and giraffe. All sing songs in their own way. Moo and bellow, ba ba and bray. Llama Llama claps the beat. Gilroy goat just points and bleats. Sheep goes ba and go calf goes moo. Gilroy thinks that's silly too. Llama Llama likes to sing. Gilroy laughs at everything. Llama sings out just the same. Gilroy says a not nice name. Teacher has some things to say. Calling names is not okay. Being mean is not allowed. Teacher says to stop. It now. Time for recess. Go outside. Monkey bars and slippy slides. Nellie's dolly makes a road. Fuzzy llama um, pulls a load. Kids climb up and kids climb down. Everybody runs around. Nellie's dolly wants to dig. Fuzzy drives a great big rig. We talked about how Gilroy Goat didn't have anybody to play with. Sometimes kids that are mean are just because they're sad. They don't have anybody to play with. Gilroy stands in Fuzzy way, Fuzzy's way. Gilroy, do you want to play? Gilroy bleats and kicks the dirt. He gets sand on Llama's shirt. Gilroy throws some dirt at Nellie. Ha ha, news are really smelly. Gilroy pushes, Fuzzy falls. Ha ha, Llamas play with dolls. 
Gilroy Snickers. Laughs and kicks, Gilroy tosses toys and sticks. Gilroy stomps on Llama's coat. Gilroy is a bully goat. Gilroy, this is not okay. Stop it or we'll go away. We talked about how if people are being not nice or doing something that bothers you, some really magic words we say at preschool is, please stop, I don't like that. And Llama and Nelly here are asking Gilroy to stop. That's a really good skill to have at preschool. Being bullied is no fun. Walk away and tell someone. If somebody's hurting you and they don't stop, go find a teacher or a grown-up to help you. Gilroy fusses, frowns, and pouts. Gilroy gets a long time out. Teacher says, let's try again. Gilroy, can you be a friend? No more kicking, no more names. Time to play a nicer game. End of recess, back inside. Gilroy sits by teacher's side. Everybody sings the song and this time Gilroy sings along. Gilroy Goat has fun with Llama. But school is over. Here comes Mama. Tomorrow has more games to try. See you then. Friends wave goodbye. So that was a cute little story we talked about. How to be nice friends and to not hurt each other's feelings. All right, boys and girls, I want to introduce you to my kindergarten line. This kindergarten line you will see when you go to kindergarten, and you will be asked to write letters and words on it. One thing I wanted to show you is there's an upstairs, a downstairs, and a basement. So when you write your letters, you have to learn where to put the letter on the kindergarten line. So for our letter G that we're learning about, remember G says G, G, goat or g, g, gorilla. We start at the top and we go around and around and around and inside. This is a letter G, watch again. Around and around and around and inside. It's kind of like we're drawing a circle, but we go inside. Now don't be tricked. Sometimes computers write G's a little fancy. Sometimes they put a line like this. Or sometimes they even put a line like that. So if you see a letter G like that, don't be tricked. It's still a letter G. This is our uppercase G. Our lowercase G is a circle in the downstairs and then a line down into the basement with a hook. See that? All right, try one more time. We draw a circle in the downstairs and then a line down into the basement with a hook. This is letter G. You could try to write it. Try to write it with me. We draw a, start at the top and we go around and around and around and around and inside. Good work. Our lowercase g is a circle and a line down into the basement with a hook. Great job. When you do your binder page, remember, Put your name on your paper, put your name. Put your name on your paper, put your name. If you don't put your name, then they'll all look the same. Put your name on your paper, put your name. Great work. If you have a letter G in your name, circle that G. So draw your G's here. And then down here, we have a little story. It says, G G goat, naughty little goat ate the garden and the groceries, but wouldn't touch his oats. So circle those G's and see how many you can find. Then color your little goat. 
We then talked about all the different things that goats like to eat, but one of the main things they eat is grass. G, g, grass. So we did some grass for the goats to eat. So you are gonna be given a piece of paper, a green piece of paper, and we're gonna turn it into, into grass. So use your scissors. Remember, scissors have two holes, a small hole and then a bigger hole. We point them up to the sky, give it a thumbs up, and we put the thumb in the small hole and our other fingers in the side. Then we sing our song, keep our thumbs up, keep our thumbs up. When we cut, when we cut, we can cut with scissors, we can cut with scissors, open and shut, open and shut. So today we are gonna practice opening and shutting. You get your paper and you go open and shut, and then let go. Open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. And then you're going to be forming some green grass for our goats to gobble up. So then you can use some glue and glue on your grass for your goat to eat. So here is our binder page. Remember, if you are absent and you are sent a binder page home, remember to bring it back because we are putting it in your special binder book that will have all the letters that we've worked on. All right, another activity that you missed was we made our goat puppet. We talked about goats, but then we got to really go to and see real goats at the farm. So when you put your goat, your goat puppet together, remember on the back is a letter G. You trace it and circle your G's. Then when you draw your goat, you're gonna give him horns and his ears. Now his ears have a little black inside, so you'll have to glue the black to the gray. Gray starts with G too. Then color his eyeballs. We saw a really cool goat at the farm and they have kind of rectangle middles of their eyes. If you look at Miss Mary's eye, I have circles in the middle of my eyes, but goats have rectangles. It's pretty cool. Then this is a special part of the goat. This is called the goatee kind of like a little beard for the goat to have and it grows out of their chin. If your daddy has hair that just grows around his mouth, that's called a goatee and we get that name from a goat. Um, one thing that we also talked about were the different kinds of goats. Boy goats are called billy goats. Girl goats are called nanny goats and Baby goats or young goats are called the same thing you are called. What are you called? Hmm, you're a kid. And baby goats are called kids too. So when we went to the farm, there was one area that was the billy goats, one area that was the nanny goats, and one area where all the kids were playing. So that was kind of fun. So make your goat puppet. Um, another thing that we talked about was a cute little story about the Billy Goats Gruff. Now remember, Billy Goats are the boys. So the story goes like this. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats. And their last name was Gruff. So they were the Billy Goats Gruff. And one day, they wanted to cross over, to the, cross over the bridge to eat the grass on the other side of the bridge to become fat and happy. Well, first off, the little goat went. He climbed up the, the bridge and said, trip, 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 trip. His, his hooves or his um, feet made that sound on the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Well, under the bridge, there was a mean old troll and it was under the bridge and he was mean and mad and said, who's that crossing my bridge? And he says, oh, it's just me, the little billy goat gruff. And the troll said, well, I'm going to come and gobble you up. <laughs> and the billy goat was really smart and he said, 
Oh, don't come and eat me. You should wait for the next Billy Goat Gruff. He's bigger than me. And the troll thought and he said, okay, you can pass. So trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And he crossed over to the bridge to the green grass to eat. Well, next came the medium-sized Billy Groat. And he was crossing the bridge and said, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And the troll says, who's that crossing my bridge? And the Billy Goat said, oh, it is I, the, the medium Billy Goat Gruff. Well, I'm going to come and eat you up. Oh, you don't want to do that. You should wait till my brother, the bigger Billy Goat, comes and you can eat him. The troll thought for a minute and he said, okay, you can pass. So the Billy Goat, the medium Billy Goat, crossed over the bridge, trip, 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 over to the grassy hill so he could eat and be happy. Finally, the third billy goat came over and he was the biggest billy goat. And he comes across, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. He's big. Huh? And he, the troll says, who's, who's that crossing my bridge? And the billy goat gruff said, it's I. I'm crossing the bridge to go get the grass because I'm hungry. And the troll said, well, I'm going to come gobble you up. And the big billy goat goes, well, go ahead, because I've got two big horns and I'm way strong. And he came up and he gave that troll a big butt of the head. And that mean old troll was never heard from again. And so the big billy goat crossed over to join his brothers, trip, trap, trip, trap, over to the grassy hill where they were able to eat and be happy. So that's the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. One more fun activity we did for letter G was we grew some grass. So what you need is a baggie, some cotton balls, and some water and then some grass seed. I bet if you asked your dad or your mom, they might have some grass seed in your shed. So what you do is you put in your cotton balls at the bottom of your baggie and spray it with some water. I put three sprays of water in it. Then I put some grass seed in there. And if you will look, this is a few days later, the grass is growing. It's very fun for you able to see. And then also, I want you to pay attention. Look at those, those roots that are growing out too. So it's very fun to explore. After you have all this stuff in there, hang, put some tape on it and hang it up in your window. And you will be able to see your grass grow. All right. Sounds fun. Enjoy letter G. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some cows, e